This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Another useful feature that helps you organize your photos is the ability to create photo stacks. I'm not sure that photo stacks have any correlation to anything in real life, but in the organizer, they're very helpful. What you can do is take a group of images and simply nest them or group them together as one. In this case, the Medusa and Gargoyle images, these are actually all the exact same image. They're simply taking it different exposures. One of the features of certain digital cameras is the ability to what's called bracket. Basically, it allows you to take a shot of an image and then the camera will automatically shift exposure settings. So you take one image that's overexposed, one image that's underexposed. There actually is bracketing of five images, three images, some do seven images, but I believe the most common really is three as we have here. This can be very helpful when you want to merge the different exposure settings to create a image that has a much higher range of tones. You're gonna to learn how to do this to create this photo merge of exposure in a later lesson. But right now, I'd like to stack these three images together so they don't take up quite as much space and I can know that they're associated with each other. It's simply a matter of selecting the images you'd like to stack. In this case, I held down the shift key, clicked on the first image, held down shift, clicked on the last image that I wanna to add to my stack. I'm then gonna right click on any of the images, choose stack, stack selected photos. You'll notice that instead of taking up three spaces in the media browser, they now only take up one. There's also a small little icon in the upper right-hand corner of the image. It's basically three images side by side overlapping each other. And this indicates that they're stacked. The expand button to the right of the image thumbnail allows us to expand the stack. And when they're expanded, you can click it again to collapse them. So any set of images can be stacked, any number. I'll take all of the still life images and stack them as well. You choose stack, stack selected photos from the menu that appears. But what if you wanna remove them from the stack? Well, that's also very easy. Highlight the stack of photos, right click, stack, and you can unstack photos. The expand photos and stack is the same as clicking on the expand or collapse buttons but I would like to unstack these images. Stack, unstack photos. No fuss, no muss, they haven't been damaged, they haven't been changed. Stacking has no permanent effect on the images. It's a very quick and easy tool for optimizing the display of your media browser.